Hello everyone. Today's question is based upon time and work. We'll also get to see an interesting relation between man, days and work. So the question is a contractor undertakes a project to build a road 30 kilometers long in 300 days and employs 45 men for the purpose. After 100 days, he finds only 5 kilometers of the road has been completed. Find the approximate number of extra men he must employ to finish the work in time. So in such questions, what we basically do to find out the work, we multiply men and days. So that gives us the total work. So men in two days, man days is the work that we have. So using this relation, I can say that if the work is constant over here, then in that case, if you increase the number of men, then the number of days decreases. If you decrease the number of men, then the number of days required to complete the same work, it increases. So I can further rewrite this relation as M into D upon W and this would be equal to some constant say K, K is that constant. So here in the question, the only task is to build a road of 30 km. So that means the work is same. We can further rewrite this relation as M1 D1 upon W1 equals to M2 D2 upon W2. Because if the work is same, then the ratio is always constant. This is equal to K. That, that's why we can equate these two. Now, in the first case, the number of men employed was 45. They were working for 100 days and they could complete only 5 km of the road. Now, in the second case, the number of men has to be increased. We have to employ some extra men. So let us assume that total men employed to build the remaining road is 5 km has been built. We had to build 30 km, so 25 remains. So 25 km of road remains, that will be the work. Men, let us assume that X men were employed. And for how many days? Since 100 days have been consumed and we initially wanted to complete the work in 300 days. So 200 days are still remaining. So 200 days. So if you calculate the value of X from this relation, X would be equal to, this will be 5, this will be 40, this will be 2.5 so value of x will be 45 into 2.5 that gives us 112.5 so this is the total number of men who will work for 200 days to build the 25 kilometer of the road remaining so how many extra men were employed 45 were already there so extra men will be given by 112.5 minus 45 which gives us 67.5 so we have to find out the approximate number of men. So it will be equal to 68. So option B will be the correct answer here. So I hope this relation is clear. The work was same here. It was to build a road. So if the number of men and days, they are changing accordingly and the work is same. So it will be constant. That is how we transform this into this relation. Now there will be some question in which these men will be working for specific hour in a day. So then the relation will transform to M1 D1 H1 upon W1 will become equal to M2 D2 H2 upon W2. H is the number of hours they are working per day. So this approach is through the relation. Some people might want another solution that is through the number of man days. So let us discuss that as well. We were given that 45 men were employed they worked for 100 days and they were able to build 5 km of the road. So if I ask you in how many days will they build 1 km of the road, so number of men will still be the same, 100 upon 5. That means if 45 men work for 20 days, they'll be able to build 1 km of road. Or I can say that 45 into 20 man days, this will be equal to 1 kilometer of road. 
or we can say that 900 man days will be equal to 1 kilometer of road. Now since the remaining work is 25 kilometer, 5 kilometer has been built, 25 kilometers remain. So total work remaining will be 25 into 900 man days. This will be the total work because for 1 kilometer work is equal to 900 man days. For 25 kilometer work will be equal to 25 into 900 man days. So this will be equal to 22500 man days. This is the work that has to be completed. This is the work remaining. Now this work has to be done in 200 days. So we'll divide it by 200 days. That will give us the number of men employed. So days will cancel. We'll get the number of men equal to 112.5 men. So earlier there were 45 men employed. Now there were 112.5 men employed. So what is the extra number of men employed? It will be 112.5 minus 45, which again gives me 67.5 which is approximately equal to option B. Option B will be the correct answer. So we have discussed both the approaches. If there is any doubt, please comment. Thank you for listening.